Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar in for Nicole Menner, who has the remainder of the week off. 21st ranked Southern Miss Golden Eagles open up the 2019 baseball season this weekend against Purdue and the starting pitchers for games one and two have been announced. Walker Powell will get the opening day nod on a Friday evening for the Eags. Powell went 7-3 last year with a 3-8-0 earned run average. He struck out 62 against just 14 walks, and senior lefty Stevie Powers going to get the ball on Saturday for USM. Powers went 5-2 last year and posted a career-best ERA of 4.07. Sunday starter, TBA. Hot shooting nights from Lamar Peters and Quindary Weatherspoon propelled Mississippi State to their latest victory over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Bulldogs shot 49% from the field as a team, and MSU picked up their second largest point differential of 19 points on the season. Peters ended the game with 22 points, while Q Weatherspoon's 8 for 10 shooting performance led to a 20 point game for him. Difference in the contest the turnover battle. Dogs forced 18 Bama miscues turned them into 28 points to crawl back to within a game of the 500 mark in league play. This is the best game we've played since I've been the coach at Mississippi State, uh, without question, because of how we played, how hard we played. I uh, hope we can build on this and the effort and, and what it took preparation-wise, but just how hard we played. The second half against Kentucky what was a, a phenomenal half. We talked about trying to put together two halves like that every time we step on the floor, practice or games. And we literally did that today. Played 40 minutes of really good basketball. Next up for the Dogs is a Saturday night road trip to Fayetteville. They'll take on Arkansas. The New Orleans Pelicans were to host a surging Orlando Magic squad on Tuesday night. Only problem was the Pellies didn't show Magic sprinting out to a 39 to 11 lead late in the first period in a 30 point loss. Anthony Davis was at the forefront of the problems for New Orleans when he showed a lack of effort and hustle. It culminated in a 3.6 rebound performance in what was his worst game of the season by far. He shot just one for nine from the floor and he ripped his team afterwards saying, we sucked, nobody was interested in playing is what it looked like. Davis went on to call out his own play saying he missed easy shots, layups that he normally makes. The conference's 13th ranked team will have to pick up the pieces very quickly. They have a nationally televised game tomorrow night against the Thunder on TNT. And the Baltimore Ravens are trading quarterback Joe Flacco to the Denver Broncos. According to an ESPN report, both teams have agreed to the terms of a deal. Baltimore will receive a mid-round pick from Denver. The move means the Ravens are committing to Lamar Jackson as their quarterback of the future and that the Broncos are moving on from Case Keenum. Denver also holds the 10th pick in this year's draft. We'll see what they do with that. Flacco was named the MVP of Super Bowl 48, only appeared in nine games last season, battled some injuries. He threw for over 2,400 yards and 12 touchdowns.